Today, there was a Reddit post talking about the Aswin Gold, Eric, all this stuff with Supercell, and I'm surprised this is still going on. So for like almost two weeks, Eric has been making non-stop videos attacking Clash of Clans left and right, dude. Every single video, he's been bashing Clash of Clans, saying that they're corrupt, that esports is dying, he's just been fear-mongering, hate-mongering non-stop, man, non-stop, and even till today, He's still on this Clash of Clans vendetta. He's even leaving comments. So the thing is with Eric, I noticed that in his latest video, he said esports is going to die or something like that in his thumbnail. And there is a comment that had like 300 upvotes. It was like, oh my God, you're milking the shit out of this Clash of Clans. And he put like a laughing emoji or something. I checked back maybe like six hours later and that comment is gone and this is not the first comment i've seen criticizing eric in his videos that just randomly disappeared so the people that do criticize eric it seems like he just makes them disappear and blocks them or hides their comment or something which is pretty hypocritical considering he's trying to attack supercell for silencing other creators and copyright striking them when he's doing the same in his comment section and in his comment section it looks so artificial like everybody's just agreeing with him everybody is like supporting him and in reality, that is not the case. The only way it looks like that is because he's removing people and blocking people from his channel that disagree with him, which is a big fucking pussy move. So this Reddit post talks about Asmund Gold calling the community manager a bunch of slurs, bad words, whatever. And like, honestly, guys, like, let's be honest. Who gives a shit? Who gives a fucking shit about Asmund Gold? Are you kidding me? Why are you guys talking about Asmund Gold? Just because you made a reaction video to all this stuff that's going on with Supercell and Clash of Clans? Are you fucking kidding me? Are none of you guys using your goddamn brain? This dude is obviously in it just to make content. If you look at his channel, that's all he does. He reacts to the politics of Joe Biden and Trump debating. He reacts to whatever Sniper Wolf is doing with all the censorship. Like anything that's going on in the internet, he reacts. That's all these guys do. This Asmund Gold, Penguin Z, that's all they fucking do for their living. And they get hundreds of thousands of views. This Supercell drama is just another video for Asmund Gold to gain a lot of views on, and that is it. I don't know why you guys think Asmund Gold is a savior and lord that's coming down to vanquish all the atrocities in Clash of Clans. Guys, he's just doing this for money and views. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys need to wake up and stop being so fucking gullible. And of course, right away, Eric goes to Asmongold's channel and he comments, you know, Eric is like a hawk. He's like a Discord mod. Every single comment he sees or any single video he sees talking about Clash of Clans, about the drama, he goes and he automatically writes a little paragraph or a sentence to say, oh, thank you for supporting my cause. Or, oh, actually, I meant this or something. He just has to put in his two cents in every single video these people make. He's like, Eric, Eric at this point, is milking the shit out of Clash of Clans. His career is over. He's trying to do damage control now with getting his creator code back, which he already burnt that bridge. He went on a week, a week straight of hate videos of Clash of Clans. So if you're still gonna be trying and relying on Clash of Clans Supercell creator code, as your source of income you can just forget about it dude supercell is fed up with your shit they're not going to give you back your creator code especially all the shit you've been talking about them so i think maybe it's time to just make regular clash of clans content maybe find a job if you don't have one already i don't know about your life but it looks like supercell and youtube are your lifeblood so i'm pretty sure that taking away your creator code hurt you so much that led you to making all these fucking videos And a dick move that I want to mention about Eric is he tried to bring other creators down with him, which is completely a complete dick move. I think it was Carbon Finn and Itsu. So these guys are like Supercell chills, like everyone else. They they love the game. They all got to talk is about positivity. And if they make any comments, any negative comments, they are very very tepid very tepid very soft or they narrate it very softly or like uh they're doing kind of bad on this so they can improve you know it's nothing like too crazy nothing too harsh 
So Eric tries bringing these guys down with him and Itsu had to end up making a video because everybody started attacking Itsu because Eric is such a fucking dick. He has to bring, if he's going down, he has to bring everyone down with him. It's a complete dick move. But anyway, I mean, I, I agree. Supercell does need to fix her shit. There's a lot of pay to win stuff here. It's getting worse and worse. The ores and stuff are like terrible for the game. They're not sustainable. They keep adding all this equipment. It, this game is going downhill. But the way Eric is doing it is he is just milking this dry. Like he is on his way out the door from his career. Here he got a Supercell code to strip from him. I heard he got back into their creator program. But that reputation he got with Supercell now, that, that he's got bad blood with them. So good luck having that long term uh, being a sustainable solution for you because you already shut on them. That's irreversible. You made videos, countless videos on them, over a week's worth of videos. So good luck with that. If you want to keep working with a company that hates you, have fun with that, dude. And then we got Galadon making a video. So of course, Galadon is a dead Clash of Clans channel. Nobody watches his videos anymore. He's got like a million subs, but he only gets like 10,000, 20,000 views. I mean, that's lucky. I think he got 20,000 views for that Clash of Clans video he made about Eric and all this. Cause I mean, he needs to, he needs to get into drama, dude. He's dead, he's a dead channel. So of course, Galadon is a long-term Clash of Clans shill. He tries being edgy in his video. He tries cussing and everything, but he just bleeps himself. So he ends up looking like a dumb pussy ass bitch and i mean it's just the same thing it's like galadon why, who wants to hear from a, a former supercell shill oh now he's gonna start talking a little bit of shit he said, this is what i'm talking about galadon is what I'm, the, the epitome of what i'm talking about they make criticisms of supercell but it's nothing harsh it's nothing crazy because they're still supercell shills supercell is their lifeblood he saw the creator code he doesn't make as much money as he used to as he said in this video because his career is dead he's a dead youtuber but he still gets some money from his Supercell Creator Code and the few thousands of viewers that watch him. I mean, I say few thousands of viewers, which is not which is not very few, but for a channel like him who used to get millions of views, hundreds of thousands of views, I mean, yeah, he, he's fallen off harshly. And then we got Kairos time in a comment section. Kairos, I don't know what the fuck you're doing here, dude. Stick with Brawl Stars and stay with Brawl Stars, man. Why are you in this Clash of Clans drama? And just like everyone else, Kairos recommends that everyone watches Asmund Gold's video, which again, why is Asmund Gold all of a sudden this Halo figure in a Clash of Clans or I guess Supercell community all of a sudden? This guy makes no Clash of Clans videos. I he only think he plays a game. I think he only got sponsored a few times and that's it. But all of a sudden, this Asmund Gold, just because he's this big guy on YouTube, he is renowned as this Halo person that looks over all the Supercell games and now all the Supercell content creators are saying, oh, look at this guy's opinion. He's unbiased. He's smart. And yeah, like I was saying, Kairos is recommending this guy's video and then he throws a little jab at Eric and then he just disappears. So it's like, I don't know why, why you're even here, Kairos. Stick to Brawl Stars, dude. You're not like even in this drama. Nobody's talking about you. And then I go ahead and look at Kairos Times community post and he's like, how do you guys think of me making another 100% honest review on the Brawl Stars updates? And I'm like, yeah, good luck with that. If you guys think a Supercell show like Kairos is going to be 100% honest, you're in for a rude awakening because there's nothing honest in these videos he's going to be making if he comes back to his 100% honest reviews, dude. I like how he tries to double down that they're 100% honest, you know. I'm definitely not afraid of Supercell and they're definitely not my lifeblood for this game with my creator code and having such close ties with them and pretty much representing Brawl Stars for them. Oh no, so you can expect me to be 100% honest, you know. It's like... It's like being sponsored. It's like a YouTuber or something getting sponsored with a product and then they say all these things about the product. Oh, it's good, it's this and that, but they're sponsored. So yeah, of course, like they're not gonna bash the product. They're not gonna say anything too negative. All they're gonna do is make tepid little criticisms to sound legit, but in reality, they're not gonna bite the hand that feeds them. Even Galadon admitted that Supercell sent him an email after he made a video criticizing them and Supercell said, 
that they wish Galadon told them all the issues he had in his mind before making a video about it. I'll tell you this, the worst feedback I ever got from Supercell after criticizing the game was a, gee Galadon, I wish you had talked to us about that first before putting it out on the internet. And that's it, nobody's ever said, don't do this, don't do that, nobody's ever tried to stop me from saying my opinion. So as you see, Supercell does influence them. It's not, it's not like, their, Supercell's not gonna cancel them, Supercell's not gonna take away their creator code just because of that, because that would look bad on them. But they will give you the side eye and scare you into not making any more criticism about them because once again you're in this supercell egg basket you put all your eggs in one basket they have your creator code all your content is based on supercell games who has the pan by the handle supercell so hey you gotta comply with them obey them suck their dick kneel down to them and that's what all you guys gotta do that rely on supercell for your sole source of income so yeah guys in summary kairos and galadon are gonna stick together defend their daddy supercell and eric is gonna keep crying like a baby Baby because he got his supercell creator code ripped out of his hands and he's gonna keep going in comment sections praising people that are bashing supercell correcting himself saying oh well i meant to add this or if asmund gold comes back up everybody's gonna start praising him and being like oh this guy knows everything he's objective he's very smart it is just a whole mess and in reality Eric is just trying to start another January 6th riot just like Trump, have everybody do the dirty work for him because he's the only one losing, he's the one who got his lifeblood stripped away from him, so what else can he do other than make a huge deal about it, make these exposed videos for two weeks straight, and have all the people attack Supercell for him. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think of this topic, what you think of all this drama, and everybody that I discussed in this video. Let me know what you think about them, Asmund Gold, Galadon, Kairos Time, and of course, Eric. Honestly, who gives a shit about the esports? I don't play esports, I don't give a fuck about that. So I could care less what happens in that area. But yeah, guys, unlike Eric, your comments will stay in the comment section, good or bad, and Nothing will be deleted or hidden, so feel free to speak your minds. With all that said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next Clash of Clans video.